Uh, namaste guys in this video we are going to learn how to measure distance between two objects in blender so let's see what is the project so if i you know drag this ball you can see i can get the measurement how far this is and if you want you know accuracy uh, you can increase the decimal number let's see how to make this one and you will get a crystal clear idea if you want the project file it is totally free of course link in description so let's start with a new project so click on new and i don't want to say ax and delete plus 7 on numpad so i want to find the distance between you know sphere so right click shade smooth so i will press g x and negative 4 select this press shift d press g x 8 so the total distance between from here to here is 8 meter now what i will do i will click on add and what i will add i will add a text i want to make it at the center of it so i will go here left click on center press tab a so press tab so press g uh, y move a little bit downwards it's like this click on object set origin origin to 3d cursor now how can i change you know dynamically when i you know move this pole so what i can do is select this click on geometry nodes press 7 on numpad select the text click on new so what i will going to do is uh, you see these two sphere balls so from here drag one this fold and drag the second fold and click on relative okay why relative so you see I want to measure the distance dynamically so I want that it updates so if you click on relative my value will update dynamically now what I want to measure I want to measure the distance between the bowl so it's a 3d space so uh, what I will do I will press shift a vector vector math what I want to measure distance so put the location of this one here and this one here now press shift a value to string you see i got a value but i want to convert this value into string now what i will type shift a string uh, string to curve so i got the you know string but i want to curve into curve let's attach this thing to here and you know join this value to here notice we can see let's make it center make it middle now what i want is you know quite empty like my life so i will press shift a and fill curve so it looks okay now what else i also want you know that when these balls move around you see the value is changing but uh, the number is not moving from its location also some people might say hey i want to see in decimals so what you have to do is zoom in increase this value so if i you know select this ball and move it notice i got quite good value change okay and you know somebody say hey i don't want to measure the distance i want to you know use my specific values if you are that kind of person what you have to do is shift a and use math remember math not vector math so click on here and choose you know multiply divide subtract whatever you want okay let's say 0.1 so you see your value is changing it's up to you how you know you want to play with this it's up to you let's put it one because that's the right value for me and if you want to add meters okay so press shift a let's say join strings and shift a string attach this string You see 8.0 meter 
again it's up to you how much you want to modify now the main thing is how can you know for example i am moving this board i want at this number exactly at the you know center of it so what i can do so i will select this click on constraint click on copy location select the ball but hey it's come here i don't want it so i will make this value to 0.5 uh, but again not good so i again select this click on here copy location but this time i will select the second ball it's one make it 0.5 okay and plus seven click on offset click on offset if i press g notice it is moving with it and it will always going to be at the center of it so that's a quite a good thing and i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any kind of doubts inquiries feel free to ask okay so thanks for watching and have a great day namaste